Hello and welcome to Retro Goulet. Uh, did you have a good Halloween yesterday? I know I did. I'm your host, Michael Riley. With me is Jason Amherst. Uh, uh, uh. And Ashley Miller. Uh, I, I, I have all kinds of candy from work. Yes, and uh, happy Friday, everyone. Uh, we don't we don't normally air on Fridays. We we are a Monday through Thursday show normally. Backseat Gamer and Retro Roulette is, um, but this week, in order to accommodate our records, uh, we are going to we we are doing this episode special for you today. So even though it is now all all uh, all Saints Day and not All Hallows Eve, and it's the first of November, that doesn't matter to us. Uh, we're still going to play some Halloween ROM hacks. Well, they may not necessarily be Halloween, but they are ROM hacks. There may be some Halloween-themed ones. Maybe. Anyway, Maybe. I hate you. I know. <laughs> no. Short one. No, no, you don't understand. It's called I Hate You. <laughs> Oh, this, this, this it, is a short one, this, so we might actually get four in. Just say this is the short one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we might we might get four in. Uh, all right, I'll be Moroccan. <laughs> uh, you can be Danish. <laughs> Ashley can be Japanese. Now we're four in. Oh, actually, I get to be Danish. Be... Okay. Uh, sorry, guys. Taking off my headset. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's only fair. He did he did pretend to be you in an episode a while a little while back. Yep. Oh, we're starting so, to go so, uh, to go. Sorry, ship. guys. <laughs> starting at the go, starting at the gunkin gun at the gunkin, the sunken the, the, the gunkin, <laughs> the gunkin go nuts. Oh, we're so going to the ghost ship. The gunkin go <laughs> gunkin so ship. <laughs> All right, I'll just take the key and go. See ya. Have a have a wonderful day. <laughs> Can't so go in the pipe. Hey, Jace, Jace, Jace. Kusasaro. What the shit? I think that's Japanese for fucking monkey. Oh God, uh. no. <laughs> Oh wow, that look at that tunnel. It reminds me of my first ex. So dangerous. Uh oh Jesus. There's like writing on the walls and shit. Oh jeez. Why won't you die? Why does this look This kinda looks familiar. I feel like I've seen this ROM hack before. I'm big somehow. This is this is a ROM hack based off of a creepy pasta. Well, oh, at least, I, at least no. I can't. At least I'm invincible. That's nice. I'm getting shitload of extra lives. All these swamps are bloody. It's the bloody blood skipper. I missed one. That's all right. Fucking leave one alive so, so he is... can live to tell the story of how invincible Mario came through and just fucked his shit up. Those are dead Mario's. They are dead Mario's. Oh shit, they're reanimated Mario's. I'm invincible, remember? But they could still eat you. Imagine being immortal and having dead versions of you just eating your ass. <laughs> you know and what? Your arm. You know what? And imagine your... how about you imagine dragons? I've uh, what? I went should to I... the concert back. Should I back collect of... that? <laughs> Fuck it. I don't trust it. Oh. Okay. Ah, uh, whoa. That mushroom looked way too friendly to be touched. Everything is red now. Let's see. Dead Kennedy's fresh fruit for rotting vegetables. Kill the poor. Poor bird to death. When you get drafted, let's lynch a landlord, or let's lynch the landlord. Drug me, your emotions, chemical warfare. Let's see. Uh, face down. Oh, face down. Oh, face up is the. That's side the way. A. Face up is the way we like to fuck. Face down is California Uber allies or Uber allies. 
I kill uh, children, feeling I, people's mail. I leave my card face down and end my turn. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I turned my mana card sideways and fucking flipped the table. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this this Dead Kennedys album has the California Uber Allies uh, yeah, I'm and, not touching that much Holiday this time. and Holiday in Cambodia. But if I am to get a Dead Kennedys album, it needs to have... Luigi! Not... You fucker! Oh, it's Mega Man. You have no immortality. No, I have... Oh! Eh. You have spa spatial awareness issues. Son of a bitch. Fuck Mother you. Fuck. Fuck you. Get out of here. Luigi's got such an attitude, too. Like L Luigi's a little bitch. Yeah. Luigi's standing like, Not no, you've been in the spotlight for far too long. It is time for me to take you thought over. I thought worked alone. I will save the Mushroom Kingdom without you, you fat little fuck! No! I thought Koopa worked the shaft! You are no brother of mine! I have no brother! Your vain attempts to try to stop me are just getting worse for you! I'm probably not going to beat him before I die. Nope. I just this noticed. Hard. I just noticed the uh, silhouette of the uh, ghost thingy, like from the skybox in. Uh, in the background, uh, yeah. Yeah, from uh, Super Mario Galaxy. Yeah, you can spin jump on the uh, fireballs. I, I actually tried to, and it still hurt me. Um, well, certain fireballs. I don't gotta worry about. I don't think I gotta worry about ever dying. Or ever running out of lives. I mean. Every time I come down this hallway, I get like 20. My big question is, how many of those Marios survived before they got to this point? Because it uh, makes me think that this is a simulation or you're a clone. Well, again, this is a like a ROM hack based off of an actual creepypasta. But imagine if... In this ROM hack, each time you died, a version of your character that died just laid dead. Like, you know how in Doom, like in the uh, older Doom games, like you would see some dead space marines every now and again? Oh, that oh so it looks like you can jump over that one. Yep, get the jump on him. So it's the smiley face flames and the regular flames that you can jump over or get a spin yeah. jump on. That's good to know. Because at least you're like one step ahead of the bullshit. Yeah, Luigi, Luigi can off. also uh, spin jump too. What? Luigi can also uh, spin jump. I, I was well, say yes, Luigi... I'm just, yeah. Well, Luigi can suck my sack. Wow. 
I want Mike to win. Shit. You'll notice that when he spin jumps, he's invulnerable. Yep, I'm I I'm seeing that. Shit. Oh, you got you you got him. You got him, Mike. You're you're giving him a solid go gold ass whooping. You don't even have power ups. You're just well, I'm big Mario, but yeah. Shit. God damn it. Almost. One more. You got him. You got him. You got him. One more good hit. Maybe. Fuck. There we go. There we go. Just finish him. Fucking barely. Finish him. Oh, now you got a cape. Oh god, no! And he burns alive. You should have burned. You should have used your cape. To oh Christ! <laughs> and that's the end of the raw hack. <laughs> Uh... <laughs> Luigi looks pissed. Luigi and looks dead. dead. Fuck pissed. Luigi dead. And then there's Luigi. He dead. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> And Peach, you could tell Peach is pit or sad because she's crying. Yeah. Well, I mean, technically, if we want to get into Mario lore, uh, they do have an illegitimate child together. Okay, thoughts on "I Hate You," Jason? <laughs> uh, it's a great recreation of the creepy pasta, um, but it is very short, unfortunately. All right, uh, Ashley. Well. It was actually kind of interesting. It looked familiar. It looked very familiar. And when Jace said that it was based off of a creepypasta, it's like, oh, yeah, the things I actively try to avoid because they really fuck with me. Uh, by the way, a note to myself as we're doing this, this end bit, I want to slow zoom in on Luigi's burn-up face. <laughs> um, this, yeah, it's it's Mario. It's a very short Mario World hack with the uh, uh, based around a creepy pasta. It's fine. Scores out of ten, Jason. Um, five asterisk six for the unique boss fight. Uh, Ashley. I'll go with uh. I'll go with a seven. I'll go with a six. Okay. Good girl. Let it all out for me. I've got you. Use your words, baby. Show me exactly how you want it. I know. I know. Okay. Uh, Someone's hey. got to fix that leak. That underground pipe is needing fix. Oh, my God. Hey, it's another green jerry hack. I'm telling you, Green Jerry, serenity now. <laughs> I'm green. <laughs> Fucking. What's the deal with not using proper hit detection? I mean, if you're gonna make a wrong hat, I'm Green Costanza. Want... Anyway, it's Halloween, and a giant mass Koopa's haunting the island. Go defeat it. Oh, there's my dad's tombstone. Look, <laughs> just, just sitting there. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Riley. <laughs> he, he he's not gonna Sorry. say he's not gonna say anything back because you know he's a corpse. Let's go. It's like, the end of this oh. level. It's like oh, you're you're talking what what you just you just gonna stand there? It's just like bitch. He oh, the Koopas dang. in this are very similar to uh, the Spoopy game that we played in the first episode. Yeah. Oh, uh, that was, that was fucking stupid. No, 
No, you, the one you weren't here for. Uh, spooky, spoopy, whatever. I forget what it's called uh, now. Sanic, the spooks. No, nah, Green Green Jerry does quality ROM hacks. Like, if I want my ROM hacks to be on par, I say, go to Green Jerry. Green Jerry, get you what you need. Little pig, little pig, let me in. No, that's Jolly Green whatever the fuck. What? I, I, I love the... Uh, it is the not Jolly Green the, Giant. Uh, Shit. Green I love the uh, creepy version of the uh, Mario World music too. Yeah, it's just pretty good. What I was quoting was a Green Jelly song. Oh, that's that's what that's what I was thinking of was Green Jelly because they did the the over the mountain thing with Dumb and Dumber. And Green and Jerry just would just be a English uh, mispronunciation of Green Jelly. That's the joke. Suck a fart, suck it out of my anus. Like, hey, Peach, I ended up getting some mushrooms off the 405. Got them from a, a, a dealer. Then I ended up taking a route through Cucamonga. Uh, uh, Mario? Uh, Luigi, what are you doing? <laughs> Hello, here? Mario. These little cactus bastards. They're called pokies. And they just pokied me in the balls. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't look. I'm sorry, I couldn't remember Pokey's name. Yeah, it's it's Pokey. So I take no, it because nope, they are now cactus bastards from here to eternity. Fuck. No. Cactus bastard. Cactus bastard. I mean, it, it it does kind of sound like a good nickname, though. Cactus bastard. And then when we find a big, big, fat enemy, I'll just call him Husky Fucker. Fuck. Damn it. Game over. You know what would kind of speed up the ROM hack roulette a little bit? What? It's just an idea. You can say, well, clearly you're going to say no because you're set in your ways. That if you get a game over, that ends the playthrough. Next game. <laughs> yeah, the problem with yeah. that is, is that I'm so bad, then the title card will be filled with multiple fucking logos and shit like that. And then the episode title will be stupid long. Well, um, I mean, it's it's just a thought, player, player. No, I'm not. I'm not going to do that. And not because I'm stuck in my ways, as you so eloquently put it. It's because the it would fuck with the format that I'm, I'm doing. Yeah, the title, because the title of roulette episodes is the three games that I play. And if I play eight games in one episode, there's no fucking way I'm fitting that into the title of the episode. I mean, I know you're no Aaron Hansen, but it was just a thought. Like we, ah. damn it. You like, just, we all have... I just, uh, I just don't know why you seem to imply that oh, you're stuck in your ways. It's like, no, well, this is... Uh, why, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Well, anyway, here's Waterworld. So maybe... Oh, you said Waterworld. Sorry. I thought you said... For some reason, I thought you said Wonderwall. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. <laughs> anyway, here's Waterworld. Oh, just... Great. Now I get to sit here and watch a fucking shitty three-hour Kevin Costner movie. Thanks. Oh, <laughs> because uh, because it's kind of a remix of the underwater version of the music. It's like what what Whoops. if underwater uh, underwater airship? Kind of. 
I don't know. Uh, I thought I was going to be fancy yeah. and do something, but nope. I'm not good enough of a video gamer to do that. <laughs> That's okay. Neither am I. Says the man. Enough, says the man who beat the roller coaster level DKC 163 times before I did, even did it once. <laughs> I, I just had that memorized. <laughs> so speaking of Wonderwall, do you hear something about Oasis is wanting to do a tour again? Yeah. Uh, just in the UK. Yeah, they've apparently reunited, but only briefly. Oh, shit. Probably because they ran out of money. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll, like still hate you, I'll still hate you, Liam, but I need money, so I'm going to set that aside. My love of money is more than my hatred of you, Liam. Come on, they're a bunch of fucking wankers. Like, even if they were touring in the... Like, personally, I would rather see Trenchmouth reunite and see one of their shows than ever see an Oasis show. And you can fucking quote me on that. I would rather see a niche punk band from Chicago that broke up in 1996 because they were going nowhere and the drummer felt that if they were going nowhere, there's no point in continuing. I would rather see them do one more concert than ever see Oasis. Because at least I would have more fun at a fucking trench mouth show. Damn it. Fuck. Man, this this is this kind of is un I don't know if I'd call it unbearably hard, but it's it's definitely got some hardness to it. Something, what are some, what is something that has been said about my penis? Of course. I don't know if I'd call it unbearably hard, but there's some hardness to it. <laughs> Fuck off, Pokey. Mm. Puck off, Pokey. I want to write after this, but I'm kind of, like, tired. I don't know why. Jace, do you find yourself, like, you're tired, but then you wake up in the dead of night, and all of a sudden you have, like, a creative boner that you just no. have to... What? No. You don't find yourself <laughs> burning the midnight oil? Well, yep. <laughs> I... I... I wake up in the middle of the night and I'm like, fuck, I just want to go back to sleep. Usually because, like, restless leg or some shit. God damn it. But I find myself not being able to go back to bed until, like, almost 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. It's really, really concerning. <laughs> Uh, is that working class asshole schedule starting to stink in? What the fuck are you talking about? Well, I didn't know what your schedule was with your other job and your current job. I know that your schedule roughly, is... Roughly the same? Roughly the same? Yeah. Oh, well, I'm... I did not know that. Even even if it wasn't the same, I've only I was only unemployed for two weeks, so your comment fails in logic. Look, I know you sleep odd hours, and I sleep odd hours. I sleep too. odd I'm hours that has nothing to do with my job. I sleep odd hours because well, I'm a fucking insomniac. That's who I'm looking for. It's the insomniacs. I'm looking for the people who are up in the dead of oh night. Oh my god, I actually made it to the fucking midway point of this level. Checkpoint! How about yeah. that? How Check about boy. that? Oh. Not that it matters, because that was my last life. You spoke too soon. Fart. Fart. Fart on my balls. Uh, thoughts on the Halloween Island? Jason. Uh, I mean, wish you could have seen more, but, uh... 
I would yeah, require I mean... a good video game player. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I haven't unlocked that, uh... that achievement in my life yet. Other than that, I mean, uh, decent aesthetic. I like the blood everywhere. Yeah. Ashley? I like this music. I like big butts. I'm oh, sorry. I mean, this, but, this is um, just the theme to Halloween. It is. It does kind of seem like it has an air of uh, difficulty. Uh, well, it's not Kaizo, but it's, it's, it's a little hard. Um, but yeah, the aesthetic is fun. It's, it's what you would expect out of a Halloween Mario hack. Scores out of 10, Jason. Six. Ashley. I'll give it a seven. I'll give it a six as well. Which remember, in some retrospects, the mark of the beast isn't 666. It's 999 as in 1999. So I guess it's smack sound now. Here we go. That's also a reference to a, a shitty movie called End of Days, but I digress. Okay. Ah, this is this this is the first one. Yes. This is a total uh this is this is a total sprite replacement total of uh, what they would call it. Yeah, conversion of uh, Super Mario, Mario World. World. Interesting. And this person Shasta. has actually made two of them. Once upon a time in the land of Paradia, they were getting ready to line up for another parade because it's Paradia. That's all they do is have parades. The ancient Sanguis Vampire Clan sought for the rise of their deity, Niskura. Okay. After thousands of years plotting and planning, they were able to shatter the dimensional walls between the mortal world and Demonia, from which Niskura came. And so arrived the goddess in all of her terror. Before long, her children, the Hostaki, blighted the land and the Peridian military was helpless. The goddess of life, Risa, was most displeased. She has one boob just hanging out. <laughs> with, her, with her and the other gods restricted, Risa's only option was to instill her blessing on a mortal. She chose a young girl only known as Sikari. A depressed assassin. <laughs> oh, I, I kill people. Seeking redemption for her crimes. Sikari. This was her chance. Sikari. Yes, we can. We can now replace the 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 pizza pussy Sayori with. Sinkari. Sinkara. Sinkara. Oh. Aided by her robot friend K16, Sakari must defeat Niskura's five main minions in order to make the goddess vulnerable. Okay. And I which one this, is the uh, robot? I love this, like, not quite Lord of the Rings soundtrack. It kind of sounds like Final Fantasy. Like, it's got some Final Fantasy vibes. The journey begins. That just switches between the two characters. I see. I want to go see a Broadway show now more than ever. I want to see it so fucking bad. Whoops. Oh, I have HP. That's interesting. Yep. This 
fucking low. Shit. Well, definitely. Ooh, blessings. It's definitely got some Mario aesthetics for sure, for sure. Oh, what that? What that do? Oh. You can shoot skull blades. Is that what those are? I didn't work on that enemy. Uh, I think that enemy would have needed a jump. The jump and shoot. Ah, HP. I did need that. Oh, I can spin jump. Okay, good to know. You can also wall jump in this, too. Ooh. Good to, good to know. I'm glad you told me that, because I'd have been like, how the fuck do you get that? <laughs> Mega Man X. Thank you. See ya. Which, let's be honest, Mega Man X made that so... Checkpoint. Yeah, the robot can't spin jump, but I think the robot can, uh... Uh, I think the robot, uh, does something else, uh... I think the robot does, like, charge shots. That's cool. Oh, those are, those are ninja stars. Uh, yeah, probably, actually. Oh, no! No! Oh, you lost okay, your Okay, that was straight out of Bomberman. <laughs> Is this a... Hold on, let me go back to Moonlight City. Sikari's home, Moonlight City. Sikari! Oh, this is the Yoshi's house, Yoshi's house. Oh, she lives in Brooklyn. Ooh, hotel. Pretty sure this is, uh... Oh, where have I heard this tune before? God. This is really familiar. It's a Naruto run! I'm saying Naruto because I don't want to say the other thing because I'm trying to be a better person. Ninja? No, the other thing that you would say for Naruto. I'll be scouting ahead for you two. I just hope I can save Mr. Mervin for it's too late. It's the nickname that they have for the Naruto fan base, which is incredibly inappropriate. Oh. Fierce and confident, Sakari is reliant on her agility. She can sprint fast and perform basic spin jumps. When powered up, she's able to throw shurikens. There you go. The light of Ressa within her allows her to pass yellow light beams. Got it. Despite her looks, K-16 is almost entirely robotic. She cannot sprint, spin jump, or even swim. She can, however, shoot plasma bolts and, when powered up, is able to charge her shots. The Eye of Serpos allows her to pass a green light beam, so I'll need to switch between them at some point, probably. Interesting. Oh, it's a bedroom. Oh, nice. Oh, spare heart to uh, yeah. recover HP whenever you need to. Nice. That's this is good. The whole aesthetic. Of Go home. This is your home. All Boy, right. Well, I don't love it. Let's go. I guess we. Hey, phone. Can you please let me touch the screen so I can get back to full? <laughs> can you please let me touch the screen? No, because it's doing this whole fucking stupid thing of not letting me go full screen. Like, if I back out and I touch the arrow, that's like, oh, you want to go full? You want to go full? And it's like, not respond. Oh, there we go. Shit, shit, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Well, at least... At least you have proper health. Yeah. And not like a two-hit box. And you can always, uh... You know, oh, God damn it! Remember, you could jump. Whoa, 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 whoa. I know. I just didn't do it you, fast you also, enough. You also had the heart, too. I know. I just didn't do it fast enough. I know. 
I just didn't do Let me guess, you just didn't do it I fast I just enough. didn't do it fast enough. I just didn't Peter Oost enough. He said he didn't beat a rooster. Hmm? No, that's not what I said. That guy was like, fuck you, I'm gonna throw my body at you. Oh, there's stuff down here, hold on. Okay. Ah, the old enemy of my enemy is my friend bit, huh? It's so weird that, like, two people could hate someone just as much as they hate you. Yay, power up. Oh, right. I can't pass through that. Oh, girl. But he can, or she can, or it can. I don't fucking know. Robot. <laughs> I'm a robot girl. Aww. Oh, never mind. Oh, yay, it was a one-up. Sweet. The green ones are for one-ups. The, the blue red ones are for and the blue ones are for fiber. <laughs> the green ones make me horny. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Sonic. Sonic That's stage clear Sonic. music. <laughs> Sonic. Sonic, what are you doing in a game about a ninja and a robot girl? A sunset walk. If they could find a way to make this game originally, it would probably be really, really good. Like, if they were able to license Honestly, it. this is really good. It looks fun. It looks like a lot of fun. I'm genuinely impressed by this ROM hack. It's amazing that this was Super Mario World. Yeah. Like, how do you put HP in Super Mario World? They found a fucking way. Nice. Okay. Oh, no, oh, damn it. Alright, a uh, sunset walk. Hey, Jace, how often are you able to go to New York? Mm, not that often. Fuck. Can you bottle some of that New York air and send it to me so I can choke to death? <laughs> uh, it's just, um... I really want to go see this Broadway show that's going to come out in December, but I, I, I'm I, not exactly in a position to travel so far out of state or out of state at all. And the only other thing you could think of is either I gift a ticket for Dane and be like, hey, can you go to this show on my behalf and just tell me how it was? Or I could send it to Tom, but I don't know if Tom's a Broadway guy. What? Uh, maybe you can uh, climb that. Tom Brush. I like that there's two little paths you can take. Yeah, this is this is really good. Oh, I'm super impressed.
We did do a full playthrough of a ROM hack last year once I played it on Retro Roulette. So, if that was to happen this year with a game, this might be the perfect candidate. I think the beautiful thing is, is that I included both this and its sequel. Yes. Uh, actually. I kind of like it. Whee! Wonder how the fuck I get that. Uh, spin jump. Um... Um, Can you control so the height of your spin jump? Oh, never mind. Oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> Elevation. Name a shitty U2 song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on. There we go. We need to get some at, after or uh, after midnight bullshit going on. Why? Like a viewing part, a viewing party or something cuz I keep seeing clips on my Instagram and it's like it's really good. And I'm not going to lie. Uh, 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 oh, uh, uh, damn it. So close. Easy there, Taylor Swift. Shake it off. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'll be right back. I got to take my, my chili bowl out. I'll be right back. I got to go to, to get a frontal lobotomy because I'm a clearly insane person. Admitting sanity. I'm not normal. But I'm, I'm not, not a normal. I'm boo boo boo. <laughs> well, at least I'm not a cunt. A O. Oh. I actually died from losing too much health. <laughs> Yeah, I think the uh, the robot can kill it with the uh, projectiles. Probably. Let's try playing as a robot for a bit. Yep. And now you can charge the projectiles as well. Shit. Oh, it makes dealing with the birds a lot easier. That's uh, for sure. Whee! Frickin' birds. <laughs> Hello, it's I'm back again. So have we had any progression, or are we still doing the same thing? What's a video game show? There you go. <laughs> Ron Hack Roulette, my boy. What does that mean? I've never done YouTube in my life. <laughs> get, get, get some Fucking help. smart ass. <laughs> Golden Palace. Uh, all gold levels, my favorite. I miss you, fuckers. I'm always so stuck doing the whole working class asshole thing that it just... I feel like I missed out on shit. Ooh, 
nice one. Wait, oh, damn it. Nice. Nice. Fuck! Ah, stupid freaking charge and chuck thing. Why does he gotta run at me like that? Because he's a butt. I didn't do. I didn't do nothing to him he's except a... maybe murder his friends. Big old so the official theme of SmackDown now is Never Play by Megan V. Stallion featuring RM of BTS. What? Yeah. I, don't know, I don't know what seven of those words were. Neither it's a song I. that's like, it's a song that's like, um, okay, uh, So are they actually changing the SmackDown logo? Yeah, the logo is different now. And so is the theme. Okay, then. And rumor has it that, uh, they are not renewing, uh, Def Rebel's, uh, uh, contract at the end of, uh, <laughs> whenever the hell it is. Okay. This G Fuel pack, like the G Fuel uh, pack for uh, Castlevania uh, Dominus collection, the G Fuel canister, the stinker, and the. It, it looks pretty fucking sweet. But the question is what does Vampire Killer taste like? What's its flavor? What? Bar oh, yeah. is Dracula. It's, um... Thick. Awaken your inner vampire hunter with this powerful burst of pineapple, guava, and citrus. Alright, thoughts, thoughts on Sicario Remastered. Jason. Extremely impressive, uh, given that it's a total conversion hack for Super Mario World. Uh, Ashley. I like it. I kind of wish that there was like a more official release of it because it looks like it'd be a lot of fun. And switching between two characters, uh, depending on like certain situations, is actually it's not a worn out mechanic. Yeah, this is a very well put together ROM hack, uh, total conversion mod. Um, it is extremely impressive what they managed to do with the Mario World engine. And, uh,. I enjoyed the hell out of it. Scores out of 10, Jason. Uh, 9. Ashley? 8. I'm going to give it a 9. Oh, no. 989. Nine. Uh, uh, the Bears. 989 nine Studios? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, God. Shitty sports game incoming. No, I'm just kidding. I was uh, just thinking 989 nine, The Bear. On this edition of the show, we played I Hate You, The Halloween Island, and Sakari Remastered. Best game of the episode, Jason. Sakari. Ashley? Sakari. I will go Sakari, and that's the winner. Thank you for joining us for this special week of Halloween shows. Uh, much appreciated it. Uh, we're back to normal starting on Monday, so uh, have a great weekend. Don't eat too much candy. You'll get sick, and then you might get a cavity. You don't want that. For Jason Amherst and Ashton Miller, I'm Mike Riley saying see you next time on Retro Goulette. Take a bath.